All right, quick one, guys. We have 41 days until I leave. 41 days. It's, it's like far away, but it's very, very close, depending on how you look at it. So, uh, I actually, I actually leave my, like, I'm going on, like, my leave of absence in, what are we in, what's it like, July 21st or 20th? Mm, July 20th. So, I go on my leave of absence in three and a half weeks. Yeah, it's like a week, two weeks. Mm, yeah, it's like three and a half weeks, I think. So, uh. Yeah, three and a half weeks. Ah, looking forward to it. Woo! I actually have one Sunday. No. One Sunday left? All right, so I pulled the counter up. <clears throat> it was, I was thinking about it in my head. I was like, how would I have one Sunday left if today's only July 20th? And there's 31 days in July and 31 days in August. That's like, what? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I actually, uh, July 25th is a Sunday, and then August 1st is a Sunday. So I don't, August, I'm off all of my Sundays. I'm off two Sundays, and then I have the rest, the last two weeks of August are PTO, and, I, and then I leave August 30th for Army Base Train. So that's why. So I have one Sunday left on July 25th, my last Sunday of work until I leave, which is my long day. And I have three uh, Thursdays left. This Thursday, next Thursday, and then the first week of August, I'm off that Thursday, and the second week of August, that Thursday is my last day. And then, which is like August, August 12th is my last day, which is a Thursday. And then from August 13th, well, uh, oh, I have 13th and 14th off because that's Friday and Saturday. And then August from August 15th through, I think, August 29th, I have, uh, yeah, my PTO. And then August 30th, I leave for Army Base Train. It was a pain to get, to get everything, like, settled. It was a pain. It was, like, I mean, just, like, I had to request my leave of absence. I had to, like, do the days, do all that. And then when I found out how to request it, once I finally requested it, they, like, I had to submit my paperwork then to them after they requested it. Then take some days to, like, receive, oh, request for the paperwork, then receipt. I'd send it, get the paperwork, and they had to re receive the paperwork. Took some days, and then they took a couple days to review everything. Then they it finally, after a couple days later they, of that, they approved the request. And so it was like it wasn't like a one day or one one minute thing process. It was like a two week process or like a week and a half process of like going straight and back and forth. And then it took some time in between for them to review. Maybe it was like a two week process. And I had to like get my team, my TM, my team manager to actually to. I, I did I did the leave I did the leave of myself. I had to call HR to see how I can put in the leave or ask get them to put in the leave for me. So it was like kind of a two week process, I would say, or two and a half weeks maybe. Um, just a lot of waiting once you submit the paperwork and, you know, you got to follow it to them then take some couple days to receive it because you had to fats, I had to, I fats it and get it and then I had to mail it over to them. So it was a little pain. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.